Hey, Camille, you have more Neanderthal DNA than 98% of the other customers. Uh, what? <laughs> Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Perun. I hope that you're doing great. In today's video, we're slightly doing uh, something different. This is kind of a 1K special um, for the channel. If you're watching this, we probably hit 1K. If we haven't, then uh, subscribe, please. I just want to say thank you here in this video in English for the 1,000 subscribers, for the people that don't speak Polish, because the next video that I'm going to be doing is going to be a uh, 1,000 special in Polish, uh, the whole video. So, yeah, guys, I thought it would be a good time to go over my DNA. I took this test a year ago. Um, I've had my results already, uh, but we can go over them together. I thought it would be a good video to see, see where I'm from, what kind of roots I have, you know, they also show you um, other stuff, you like your traits and stuff like that. So it will be quite cool to uh, check out with you guys. Yeah, if you haven't yet subscribed, please subscribe, give this video a like, and um, why not just get straight into it? All right, so this is the homepage. You can see that I've used uh, 23 and me. Basically, you spit in like a little tube, you send it off to the lab, they send it back to you with your results and the link uh, for your logins, and basically this is what you get. So you get your uh, ancestry, your health and your traits. Uh, you also get some research and like you can meet other people with your DNA, which is quite cool. And yeah, let's just go one by one and see what's what's in there. If you want, you can comment down below where you think I am. Uh, maybe I'm from England, maybe I'm from Poland, maybe I'm from somewhere else, I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> All right, so the first one is ancestry. You can see that I am 98.8% .8 Eastern European, 0.6% uh, Askenazi Jew and 0.6% Spanish and Portuguese. Now we can go more in depth with, into these. <laughs> so yeah, you can see I am I'm pretty Polish. I would say I am quite quite a, quite a Polish guy. Uh, Ninety-eight point eight percent um, is Poland, which is which is probably more than most of the people uh, in Poland. This is quite this is quite Polish. Ninety-eight point eight percent. Then we also have uh, Russia, but I don't think that's um, that's a lot of percent. So basically, it tells you also where your DNA is most likely to be in, in the country. It looks like most of the people are from uh, Podkarpatskia, which is right here. Then we have Lesser Poland, Masovian, Silesian, um, Świętokrzyskie, Greater Poland. So you can see they're all stacked here. But the most, I guess, the most is uh, in here, in Podkarpatskia, which, Podkarpatskia, which would... Um, Makes sense because that's kind of where my grandma's family is from. That's kind of where they, they are all from before, before we moved to um, Zachodnia Pomorskia, which is where I live in, in Stargard, which is where I was born. I, I live in England. I don't live in Poland anymore. But yeah, you can also check out the Russian one. So you can see a little bit here. I don't know what, what's up with uh, what's up with this one. Khabarovsky Kraj? I don't know what my, my uh, I don't know, grandpa or grandma, what are you guys doing there? <laughs> Freaking other end of Russia. All right, fair enough. Um, but yeah, you can see that I am pretty Polish, I would say. Um, then we also have 0.6% uh, Jew. And then we also have 0.6% Spanish and Portuguese. I don't know about that. I don't have anyone in my family. But then again, 0.6% is very small, like... It must be like a grandpa of a grandpa of a grandpa, like generations ago. Uh, 0 0.6 is like nothing, pretty much. So yeah, I am mostly 98.8% Eastern European, Polish and Russia mainly. And yeah, that's, <laughs> that's quite Polish, if you ask me. That's very Polish. Um, and then you can see where in the timeline the people uh, kind of joined your ancestry. So Jew, Askenazi Jew was about from... 1820 to 7030, like someone someone was there mostly had a fourth great grandfather, fifth great grandfather. So yeah, that's like very, very far away. And then Spanish was from like 1850, 1730. Uh, then you can also look into like your chromosomes, which basically tell you that the chromosomes belong to that part of like the world. I'm not gonna go really into it, uh, but you can see they're mostly uh, Eastern European. And yeah, you can also check your Neanderthal ancestry. Um, so yeah, let's check that out. Hey Camille, you have more Neanderthal DNA than 98% of the other customers. Uh, what? <laughs> Wait, so does that mean I am like a Neanderthal or something? <laughs> you have 2% Neanderthal. 
Interesting, interesting. So I guess I have more Neanderthal DNA than 98% of the people, which is crazy because I'm like in the top two, uh, top 2%. Interesting. And then we have some of the traits that um, show that you're a Neanderthal, I guess. Um, you have two variants associated with having a worse sense of direction. That's true. <laughs> That's true. I get lost very easily, to be honest. Um, then you have one variant associated with being a better sprinter than a distant runner. True, again, I cannot run very long, but I can sprint very fast. Uh, <laughs> You have one variant associated with being more likely to sweat during workout. Uh, makes sense, yeah. Um, you have one variant associated with having more dandruff. That's kind of wrong because I've never had any dandruff. Interesting. And then we have one more. You have one variant associated with being, uh, being less likely to blush. Uh, no, I blush really bad. Like, I, I, blush, I blush very bad. So these, these two last ones are not really... Correct, but these these first three were correct. Then you can also check out where your mother and where your father came from. I'm not gonna really go into that. That's kind of boring. They don't they don't really say much. Uh, they just kind of show you like the travel, how they traveled and how they got to Europe. Uh, blah 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 stuff like that. All right, we can move on to health and traits. These this one is kind of interesting because uh, it shows you like let's say the color of your eyes or is your hair curly or not that's that's kind of cool so it also kind of shows you like uh health predispositions if you have anything like um alzheimer's or something like that um i luckily don't have anything that could be wrong with me and it also shows if you're carrying any diseases which which i don't you can check out your wellness so this is kind of cool uh alcohol flush reaction unlikely to flush true caffeine consumption likely to consume more uh, yeah, I do drink a lot of coffee. That is true. I do drink a lot of coffee. Deep sleep, less likely to... Yeah, I wake up pretty easily. This is pretty much on point. Genetic weight, uh, predisposed to weigh about average. True. Uh, lactose intolerant, likely tolerant. Yep, I can drink milk. We're good here. We're good here. Um, muscle composition, common in elite power athletes. Now, this one, let's go. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I feel like this is a good one. This is what this one you want to get, right? Saturated fight and weight, uh, likely similar weight. I don't know, really know what that means. And sleep movement, likely to move more than average. I do. I do throw myself around the bed when I sleep. That's, that is true. <laughs> Let's move into the traits. This is one of my favorite ones. So you got 21 physical features, four uh, taste and smell, and then weird and wonderful, eight. Interesting. So we got back hair. Camille, your genetics predict. 78% chance to have little or no back hair. Yet yeah, no back hair for me. Thank you. 92% uh, <laughs> uh, chance to have uh, a bald spot. Uh, no one in my family is like bald or anything. So I don't, I don't think I'll ever have that. Cheek dimples, 56%. I think I have slight dimples. Nothing major though. Cleft chin. This is like the butt chin. I do not have that. 87 Chance you do not have true. So so far these are pretty accurate. Dandruff, sixty-two percent to have dandruff. Nope. Uh, early hair loss, eighty-one percent. You will not experience hair loss. We're good here. We're good. <laughs> and we have eye color, eighty-two percent to be blue, twenty-one percent to be greenish blue, seventeen percent to be green, eight percent to be light hazel, two percent to be dark hazel, less than one percent dark brown. All right. Why is this like all over the place? I think I just have blue eyes. Um, sometimes they can seem like a bit greenish depending on the light, but that is crazy. <laughs> Why can't it be just like one? <laughs> Why is there like 10 different colors? Okay. Finger length ratio. So we got 72% chance of your ring finger is longer than your index finger. That is true. My, my ring finger is longer than my, uh, index finger. Interesting that that's actually like in your genetics. That's kind of cool. Uh, freckles, 84% chance you have few if any freckles, I do not have freckles. Um, I have this though, um, hair photo bleaching. Basically when you're in the sun, your, uh, your hair just becomes really blonde. So yeah, I do have that. 43% uh, slightly wavy. I would say slightly wavy. I would say slightly wavy. Um, 28 straight hair. When I've got short hair, that's, uh, that's when it's quite straight. But when, whenever it grows out like this, it is a slightly wavy. Light or dark hair, 40% 40 40 chance to be dark brown, 36 to be light brown. 
I would say it's like a light brown, maybe like even like a d dark blonde. That's kind. That's that one's kind of wrong. Uh, this one I don't really know. Red hair? Yeah, we we do not have red hair. Okay, one percent skin pigmentation. Thirty nine percent of very fair. That is true. I am very white. Like if you look at my skin, <laughs> I am so white. I need to go out more. I think so. Unibrow. 50% chance you do not have. I do not have. I have a big gap right here. Widow's Peak, 71% chance you do not have a Widow's Peak. Yeah, I don't think I don't think we got a Widow's Peak here. That was the traits for the physical. Now we can check the taste and smell. Camel, your genetics make you likely to be able to smell asparagus. Can people not smell asparagus? Okay, interesting. Then we got bitter taste, likely can't taste. Uh, I can't taste bitter stuff. Okay, interesting. I hate cilantro. I think it's disgusting. Uh, sweet versus salty, prefer sweet. That is true. I've got a massive sweet tooth. And then we have wonderful and weird. This is kind of where they put the traits that don't really match the physical uh, features uh, and the taste and smell. So you got ability to match musical pitch, 50%. Chance to be uh, to be able to match a musical pitch. I cannot sing, so <laughs> I don't know why it's there. I, there is no chance it's 50% that I can uh, match a pitch. Definitely not. Fear of heights, less likely. Yeah, not really. I don't really have fear of heights. Hair thickness, uh, less likely to have uh, thick hair. My hair is very thin. And you can you can read the rest. I'm not gonna bore you guys with all all of that. And I think that will be it for the test. There's also like other features that I don't really show you because they're a bit more personal. And uh, there's like family tree and stuff like that. But yeah, let me know what you think. Uh, were you surprised that I am so Polish? Ninety-eight point eight percent Eastern European, mostly Polish, which is crazy. Usually people are a bit more mixed. If you check out other people's, I think Ekipa did theirs uh, recently. If you check out theirs, they're like you know. 20, 30% Polish or something like that. But I am I am a full Polish guy right here. <laughs> so yeah, that's kind of crazy. There were some little like cool uh, traits that we checked out as well. And I have to say, I'm really surprised by the Neanderthal one. I didn't think that I'll be in like the top 2% in the world for having Neanderthal uh, DNA. Yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, like I said, we, we are reaching 1000 subscribers, which is crazy. Thank you very much for all the subscriptions, uh, for all the support. In the next video, I'm going to be doing a Polish speaking video where I'm going to be doing a Q&A. So if you would like to leave uh, your questions for me, uh, just leave them down in the comments. I will be answering all of them. I will answer the most popular ones. And yeah, I gotta say, I'm proud. I'm proud of my 98.8%. Um, overall, 100% European as well. That's crazy. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I've enjoyed it a lot, just going through the ancestry and the DNA. You can check out more of my videos just here. Uh, if you enjoy this kind of content and you want more of this, uh, please give it a like and subscribe for more. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for the support. And I'll see you guys in the next video.